All right, thanks for joining us on Valley News Live as we take a look from our Luther family location. Here's some blue skies in Fargo, a buildup of clouds out to the west, though. The evening is looking very fair. We are still in the 70s. In fact, we have made it into the upper 70s now as forecast 77 degrees here in Fargo. Winds are out of the south today a little bit more commonly, and that has really been a pleasant day with a cool start staying into those 70s throughout the afternoon. Most areas in the 70s still a little closer to 80 in Gwinter right now. 79 there. Lang 72 degrees right now. The uh, Wadena area is 73. Bemidji at that same reading. A uh, very quiet evening expected out in Lakes Country right now. We have some showers and thunderstorms swirling through central South Dakota, but those are exiting our area. We are watching this area here where we have developing thunderstorms moving out of Saskatchewan and into north central parts of North Dakota. Those won't impact most of our area, though, until overnight. More on that in just one moment. Here is a look at Isaias as it works its way to the north northeast. Northern parts of the uh, state of New York, Vermont and New Hampshire, seeing the heavy rains flooding. And there have been numerous tornado warnings. With that, for us, quieter this evening on the Minnesota side of the river will stay cloud free. We'll have increasing clouds in North Dakota, but I do think we stay dry through bedtime tonight. When we're talking again 10 at 10, we could have a few rumbles of thunder starting to press into our western counties. Those overnight will drift to the south and east. Notice as we go through the overnight, that northwest parts of Minnesota should stay dry. The best chance of showers and storms will be along and south of Highway 2 in North Dakota and along and south of Highway 200 in Minnesota. And we could start with the, uh, the day tomorrow with some showers and thunderstorms here in the FM area and places south and southwest towards Gwinter and Lisbon. I don't expect severe weather overnight, but you may be awakened by a rumble of thunder or maybe even some small Hail. As we go toward the midday hours, those showers will exit the Red River Valley and head into central Minnesota. And then after about one o'clock, most of us will be shower and thunderstorm free. But certainly by four o'clock, things really look to improve with the exception of these little green pimples you see on the weather map here. Tomorrow's winds will be from the southeast as this swirling area of low pressure works its way through the region. And it will be a cool day, but the best time of the day coming in the late afternoon and early evening as the shower chances exit perfect temperatures in the 70s with quieting conditions. In Fargo, this is what it looks like. We start the day with rain and thunder chances rising from near 60 into the upper 60s and low 60s for most of the afternoon. Then the best time of the day hits. Winds will be southeasterly 5 to 15 miles per hour and we'll see temperatures in those 70s in almost all locations tomorrow. The best shot at being a little cooler will be in our southeast counties where the showers will last just a little bit longer. Full moon out last night and thanks so much Melissa for sending in this beautiful shot near the Twin Valley area and another view of that moon from Roseau County. Thanks a lot Jeanette. Now let's take a look at that planning forecast shall we because we got a little bit to talk about here. After tomorrow's showers and unsettled weather, we warm up, but we stay quiet on Thursday. Friday will be hot and sunny with increasing humidity throughout the day. Most of the day quiet, but late thunderstorms into your Saturday will be a part. Uh, hi, Andrea, <laughs> a part of the scene. Now, as we look into Saturday, there will be storm chances, but I do believe the best chance will stay in the Southern Valley. Then as we go into Sunday, it looks like a chance of storms once again with the heat and humidity we'll have all weekend. There'll be a chance for some of these storms to be strong or severe. Again, I want to remind you, it's not going to be severe weather everywhere all weekend long. Just have a plan and know if storms form in your area, they could become severe. You can stay ahead of that with the latest on your Valley News Live weather app. Search VNL Weather in the App Store today. Mike? Good advice. Thanks, Hutch.